A sophomore, number 10, Joshua Holman. A junior, number 11, John Notto. Freshman, number 12, Jonathan Netto. A sophomore, number 15, Devin Wilkins. A freshman, number 32, Matt McCluskey. A senior, number 33, Tom Rosto. A senior, number 12, Mike Whitney. A junior, number 13, Jason Pritchard. A sophomore, number 21, Jamie Hall. A junior, number 22, Eric Buck. A sophomore, number 25, Kevin Laughlin. And the junior, number 30, Troy Alley. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for your starting lineups. For Southern Aristic, a sophomore, six foot tall forward, number 20, Jordan Shields. And for Machias, a senior, five foot five inch guard, number 10, Owen Strand. For Southern Aristic, a five foot eight inch guard, number 21, Gabe Gordon. And for Machias, a senior, five foot ten inch guard, number 11, Joel Snowdeal. For Southern Aristic, a senior, six foot tall forward, number 22, Sam Michu. And for Machias, a senior, six foot tall forward, number 14, Benjamin Reynolds. For Southern Aristica Jr., six foot one inch center, number 24, Robert Bechner. And for Machias High School, a senior, six foot five inch center, number 15, Ben Edwards. For Southern Aristica, a junior five foot ten inch guard, number 30, Nathan Hardy. And for Machias, a senior, six foot one inch forward, number 20, Seth Hilton. Your officials for today's game are Mr. Mike Webb, Mr. Bouchard, and Mr. Renault. The three officials uh, named again. Mike Webb will toss the ball up. Matty Bouchard, who uh, uh, recently uh, was coaching up the Hodgson, and Dave Renault, the other official, to our right. I noticed before the game started, Ron, that uh, Seth Kilton was uh, being attended to by West Jordan for his ankle. But uh, he's starting, so he appears to be okay as we get ready to go. Machias will be in the white uniforms, and the dark purple uniforms will be Southern Rustic. Jesse Bedwell's old team. When his son played, as Mike Webb will throw the ball up as we get ready for action, the tip is controlled by Machias Snowdeal. At the top to Kilton, to Reynolds, back to Kilton, back to Reynolds. The zone put up by this uh, Warrior team. As Reynolds will take the first shot of the game, in and out, rebound, taken off by Southern Rustic. Nathan Hardy with the ball. At the top goes to Gabe Gordon. Gordon works to the left, gets a screen from Shields, tries to bounce it in. We're going to have the first foul, and that'll be on 14, which is Reynolds. Reynolds. That's his first, team's first. 7.33. Left here in the first quarter. As both teams trying to feel each other out now. Betchner will inbound it. It goes to Sam Mishu, and Mishu hits the first two. And it's a two to nothing ball game. Snow deal to Kilton. Snow deal gets the ball back, strong in the corner. Now it comes to the top. Reynolds back to Strong. Ball's deflected away and knocked out of bounds by Sam Michu. And 
Chayas will hold. Southern Rustic leading by a score of two to nothing here in the early going in the first quarter. Semifinal actions in D. If you're with us, Kilton loses control and the ball goes into the hands of Southern Rustic. Gordon with the ball. Now gives off to Hardy. Hardy stats down the middle. He's going to go right to the glass, puts it up and in. Nice move. Aggressive move. Put the afterburners on as he split a pair and he goes right to the hole and uses the glass well, four to nothing. Snow deal at the top now. Turn, the ball is deflected away. Picked up by Mishu. He's going to go and take it away by Snow deal on an outstanding play. Not a Reynolds. He's off to Kilton. Kilton's going to stop. He's going to take the shot and he hits. Four to two. Southern Rustic leads by two. Gordon now to Hardy. Hardy takes his screen. Now a jump shot from the baseline. Now going rebound strong by Betchner. He puts it back up and in. And Southern Rustic playing very impressively here in this first early going. The 6:04 left. 6-2 the score. Kilton way outside to Reynolds. The big man hasn't got the ball yet. He's been shadowed. Kilton's outside shot is no good. Rebound tipped around, picked off by Southern Rustic. Mishu comes down with it. Mishu's going coast to coast. Nice pass inside to Shields. Shields is going to put one up off the glass. No good. And Edwards and Machias takes off the rebound. Snow deal to Kilton. Looking against that 2-1-2 uh, two two zone. Strong way over on the right side. Now to the top. To Reynolds. Goes the corner to the left to Kilton. Kilton now leaves it inside. The ball's knocked away. Finally picked up by Machias. Strong's going to drive the bounce. Comes back. Now it's going to go to the top to Reynolds. Back inside to Edwards. There he is for his shot. Up around and in. They finally got him free. That's what Machias has to do. They have to wait for him to get open. Sometimes it doesn't happen right away. 6-4 to the score. 4.57 left. Howdy of Southern Rustic handling the ball now. Robert Betchner inside the Shields. He puts it up and in. Whatever they're playing against uh, Southern Rustic, they're just going right through it like a sieve. Eight to four, the score. Reynolds with it, looks inside. Nice pass to Kilton. He puts it up and in. Full pass to the side on the wing. Cut down the middle, got the pass back, and lays it in. Eight to six, the score. Hattie with the ball, now starts to the left side, now the middle. Inside, a nice move by Mishu, and Mishu puts it up and in. Sam Mishu, the senior, and it makes it 10-6. Strong with the ball, Owen, the right-hand side, loops it back outside to Kilton. Now to Reynolds, Reynolds with an outside three, it's no good. Rebound taken off strong by Sam Mishu. He really gets off his feet. Great athlete. Gordon comes down with it. Gordon spin dribble in the middle, ball knocked away, picked up by Reynolds, two on one. Good play, uh, even though Hattie kicked the ball, <laughs> at least he saved the layup. That's a lot cheaper than a foul, that's a great play. 10 to six to score, 351 left in first quarter action. Southern Rustic and Machaya, Southern Rustic leading. Strong with the ball, we're on the right side. Now at the top to Snow Deal. Snow Deal starts to go in the middle now. Now still in the dribble to Strong. Strong can shoot that uh, three. Now he loops the pass to Kilton. Kilton's going to go right in the paint. He tries to leave it there for Edwards, but Edwards is going one way, and the ball was going the other way. That's the right idea against even front. You've got to get something out of dribble penetration. That's the place they've looked for that. Hardy with it now as he comes down the right side. Goes right down, and I think they're going to call a player control. They do. A little bit out of control himself. That's his first. 3.27 left. First quarter action, 10-6 to six to score. Strong with the ball. Foul line extended to the right. Loops it back outside of Snow Deal. Back to Strong. Strong starts to go on the baseline. Puts off a high acker. No good. Rebound tipped around. Picked off by Michoud. Sam, uh, excuse me, Betchner. Michoud and Betchner have been cleaning the board. They're getting one shot. Mishu with it right now. Hardy, Shields, back to Hardy. Holding the ball outside. Now to Gordon, and the ball's intercepted by Kilton. Kilton, very 
Very fine basketball player. Just uh, picks his spots. Nice pass inside, but the ball's knocked away. A little bit too hard to handle. Edwards couldn't handle it. And Southern Rooster, they've been very, very quick to grab that ball and not let Edwards have what he wants. 10 to 6 to score with 231 left. Mishu with a shot. Good boy. Sam is on fire in this first quarter. Sudden Sam from Southern Roostick. 12 to 6, a six point lead. Kilton, Snow Deal, Strong. Back to Snow Deal. Still looking at that zone. Now it goes to Edwards. He turns Strong. Strong's going to take an outside three, and he nails it. He's good from that wing. 12 to 9 to score. Hardy with the ball now. At the top, Bechner. Back to Hardy. Hardy to the left side. Hardy's going to stop, take the pop. It's no good. Rebound. Tipped around, picked off from there by Shields, and Shields is being grabbed. There'll be two shots. Good rebound that time by Jason uh, Jordan Shields. He's only a sophomore. Or as they say, a sophomore. Paul shot us up and it's no good. No subs as yet. And uh, in the quarterfinal rounds, there were only two people, one, one each from both sides that get in the game. So Shields splits a pair, makes it 13 to nine, 147 in this first quarter of action. Kilton, now Reynolds, Kilton outside. Trying to get the ball inside. Now Edwards goes over and uh, Snow Deal comes down the middle. Now Strong. Bounces, goes to Reynolds. Reynolds at the baseline, throws up air. Shields comes off with a rebound. And Hardy will bring down for Southern Aroostook. Man to man put up by Machias. And the 2-3 zone or 2-1-2 zone has been bothering uh, Machias' team. Pass goes to the corner, picked up. And on the move is Hardy. Now to Gordon. Gordon puts up a high shot because Edwards is there. Nice rebound inside, puts it up to Betcher. He's being fouled by Edwards. So Betcher and Mishu right now own the uh, offensive rebounds as they are battling Big Edwards for every inch. Makes it tough on him if he has to continue to do it by himself. Here's a good shot by our guys. Southern Arusta going to the boards real well. Edwards is clearly out of position. It's all arm, two shots. Betcher's shot is no good. Robert Betcher is a junior. Takes a second shot, he puts it up and in, so he splits a pair, 14 to nine, with 102 left in first, first quarter action. It's no deal of Machias. Kilton out of Reynolds. Reynolds holds over the head, loops inside to Kilton. Kilton's gonna put it off the glass and in. 14 to nine, 14 to 11, check that. As we wind down the first quarter of action, Kraus goes out of bounds and it'll be Machias' ball. Chias extended their defense just a little bit. Caused the turnover. Snow deal will bring up. As Southern Roostick starts to extend out. Kilton holds. He's way outside. To Strong. Back to Snow deal. Kilton right in front of us here, holds the ball off the strong on the other side, looking up the clock. The picture's worth a thousand words, and that's what's happening. Kilton gets it inside to Snow Deal, and Snow Deal draws a foul on Mishu. So they accomplish one thing anyway, they get a foul on Mishu. Yeah, that's good patience. They start taking a look at the basket at about 10 seconds, it's pretty standard the foul. Now they'll try to run something here to get a hoop. At Sam's the first and there's only uh, two on the team. 3.8 seconds to go. Reynolds long three. It's no good. The rebound at the buzzer is by Michio and at the end of one complete. Southern Roostick 14, Machias 11. We'll be back with second quarter action right after this. <laughs> You're watching Tournament Basketball on the stations of Maine PBS. Southern Roostick looked very impressive in that first quarter, but here we go for the second quarter of action. 14-11 the score, Southern Roostick leading. 
as Shields goes right to the glass, puts it up, and they call him for travel. Right idea, but a little travel. Good call by the official. He was out of control. Snow deal comes down with it, strong to the right side. As the patient Machias Bulldogs work the ball around, looking for their big man underneath. He has been uh, blanketed. Strong, strong fakes. He splits. Nice pass inside to Kilton. Kilton has the ball ripped away, stolen by Hardy, and picked up by Gabe Gordon. Gordon will come down with it. Now it goes off to Hattie. Hattie down the middle to the left side goes to Mishu. Mishu's going to take an outside three. It's no good. Rebound picked off by Kilton of Machias. And they'll bring down. 14 to 11 the score. Southern Rustic over Machias here in semifinal action to the Bangor Auditorium. 7 1 left in first half action. Ron Brown along with Joe Gould and Ernie Clark. Main PBS. Got a good ring to it. Moving the ball around. Strong. Now he goes to the corner. It goes to Kilton. Kilton turns back outside of Snowdeal. Snowdeal down the middle. Right at the foul line. Puts it up and in. The foul line is open. That's what you have to do against even front. Dribble penetration. 13 to 14 now. Southern Rustic by one. Gordon with it. This is Hattie, got it by Reynolds. Back to Hattie. Hattie's gonna take the jumper and he hits it. He's a good looking player. Nate Hattie is only a junior. They have one senior and that's Sam Mishu in the starting lineup. Sophomore is Shields and uh, the rest of the other three are juniors. Snow deal, strong in the corner side I should say. He loops a long pass. They're going to call him for traveling. You notice Kenny Johnson just kind of wanders back and forth in that six foot lane there he has and he doesn't say too much. He's got his boys prepared. Only Leah trailing by three points at this spot. And a pass intended for Mishu who collided with Mike Webb the official and the ball goes out of bounds. Despite being behind here, Joe, I think Machias likes the tempo of the game. Snow deal. Now inside goes the Kilton. He's up. Well, oh, partially deflected by Mishu. And Sam comes off with a rebound. There's a good picture of uh, Kenny Johnson right there. Turns. Gordon looking for help. Finally goes to Hattie. Now to Mishu. Mishu looking inside. Inside to Shields, the sophomore. Bounces off. It goes to Dechner. They're going to call a three-second violation. Well, we've seen an awful lot of that in this, uh, in the quarterfinal rounds and now in the semifinal rounds. That was one thing George Wentworth wouldn't stand for. <laughs> Not in the bucket. That goes the top to Kilton. Not a snow deal. Snow deal starts to move with it to Strong in the corner. He's going to take a three. It's up. It's no good. Rebound tipped, and it goes out of bounds, and it'll be Machias' ball. First sub of the game for either side, Joshua Holman, who was the only sub against Washman when they played in their quarterfinal rounds, and Gabe Gordon goes to the sidelines. So Holman is in, and he's right up front with Hattie on the zone. Pass is strong, he controls it. Now Connor goes to Kilton inside to Edwards. Edwards turns around, puts it up and in. Once he gets it inside, he's dangerous. He uses the glass very well. Strong individual, 15 to 16 now, as Machias trails by one. Holman with it. Holman going right to the glass, puts it up around and in. Josh Holman. Machias getting very little help off the dribble once your man is beat. Nobody's stepping up and helping out. 18 to 15 the score. Reynolds with it. Inside of Kilton. Kilton's going to put it up the glass and in. Well, one thing that Johnson's taught these guys is how to get in close and use the glass. 18 to 17 the score. Outside is Hattie. Hattie on the dribble. Machia still playing the man to man. Hattie goes inside. Nice pass goes to Bechner and Bechner puts it in. 2017. Very low fouling game. No one's, uh, neither team is in uh, drastic trouble here as far as team fouls go. Only two on Southern Rustic and three on the uh, 
Chaya's to Kilton's outside shot is no good. Rebound taken off by Reynolds. He's going to put it back up, and he's being fouled. And it was before the shot, so they're going to take it out of bounds. Reynolds showing good athleticism there. It's been kind of quiet the first 11 minutes, and Machia's going to need him to score if they're going to win this game. Holman was the Gilly Patty, picked up his first. Now Reynolds. Reynolds with a three is no good. Rebound taken off the air by Mishu. Sam Mishu and still another rebound. And the Chires is getting that one shot. Hattie down the middle. Hattie gallops and uh, play a control. Every time when you're control, that's what happens. Red Berry used to say the only time you leave your feet is to shoot. When you do that, you're going to take a charge. 22nd timeout being asked by Southern Rustic Community School. And they lead by a score of 20 to 17. I think Joe, out of this timeout, uh, Tim Toothaker is taking it for two reasons. I think he wants to settle the troops down a little bit. And I think he's going to try to put a little pressure on, uh, on Machias. They're traditionally a half court team there. They have been for the past 10, 12 years. Began with Pete Wally back in the days when Ken Johnson was a player. I think Machias has had their own way. They've been able to dribble down, work the perimeter, get dribble penetration. I think he's going to spread them out a little bit. And as you call it, Mr. Brown. Pass goes inside to Reynolds, and Reynolds puts it in. The Southern Rustic went into man. Don't fix it if it isn't broken. Bishner now to Mitchell. Mitchell's on a drive. Mitchell's going to go, puts it up. It's very good. Strong rebound by Edwards that time. Authority rebound. 2019 the score. Reynolds on the left side, foul line extended. Now to Kilton. Kilton at the top, man-to-man -man put up now. Kilton going down the middle. The pass a little bit too high to Reynolds. He goes out of bounds. But boy, when they get that first step and get in, they create everything. Holman with the ball. Left side goes to Hattie, a Southern Rustic. And they're purple. And the ball stolen by Reynolds. He picks it up. There's going to be a double dribble. Oh, you can see that one right there in midcourt. <laughs> Everybody knew it, including the player. Go feet, go. <laughs> Reynolds in a good steal. Holman uh, came across with a cross dribble, and uh, he picked him, but uh, double dribble and couldn't get away from it. 2019, Holman again. Now Hattie outside of Betchner. Betchner turns, uh, gives into Mishu. Mishu's pass inside. Southern Rustic right now, what they're trying to do, they're, they're making blind passes, and they're throwing to nothing but white shirts. A little bit on the control. They're ahead. There's Edwards. He turns. Yes. He's tough to beat down there. It certainly is. And it doesn't take more than one shot. He gets up. He extends himself quite well. Mishu. Mishu. Nice jump inside. But they're going to call a three-second violation again. Just to call that camping. Hattie will leave as uh, Gabe Gordon comes back in for Southern Rustic. 21 to 20 now, Machias has the lead with 155 left in the first half of action. Snow deal turns to Kilton. Now it goes to Reynolds to Kilton. Kilton's turn, has the ball stopped by Sam Mishu. Off to Holman, Holman starts down with it. Now he comes Patway out with it. Top to Bichner. Goes to Gordon, Gordon to the right side with the screen, nice leap inside, Edwards knocks it away, pass from Kilton, going to go to Reynolds, right to the glass, he puts it in. Nice play by Kilton. And you notice it wasn't to the player, it was to the basket, and let him chase it down, he did. He steals the ball again, almost. Boy, after a while you say to yourself, I'm not going to try to trouble against this guy. <laughs> He's off to the races. It picks up his second personal foul. That was Reynolds. Now to Gordon. Gordon with the ball. Turns back outside of Betchner. To Mishu. Mishu out deep. Holman. Off to Betchner. Bounces inside to Sam Mishu. He misses. Shields gets the rebound. And Shields a foul by Kilton. Kilton's a little bit angry at himself. Charge foul number 27, Kilton. That's his second team's fifth. Jordan Shields at the line. Shoot two shots. 
There it is. And the foul. Shields is so strong that he's going to get a lot of those. And if you're on defense, you have to discipline yourself. Stay on the floor. If you reach in this contact, it's always going to be a foul. Jason Shields makes the first foul oh, shot. Yeah, We're 21 to 23 now as the Machias Bulldogs lead by two and then they lead by one. 23 22. Pretty good first half. Very patient Machias team. Now Southern Rooster goes back to the zone. And Shields and Betchner double up on Edwards. Not as strong, strong with the downtown fake. Looks around, comes over to Kilton. Kilton skips the ball inside to Snowdeal. Snowdeal puts it back to Kilton. Now to Reynolds. Nice bounce inside of Kilton. He puts it up and in. Well, they've worked that four times with great success to the wing and to the post. Cut down the middle, and that's where it is. Holman with the ball. Sass to go, leaves the shield. Shields in a lot of traffic. Puts it up and in. Boy, he was lucky to get that one off, but he did. Not only did he get it off, he got it in. 25-24 to Reynolds. Reynolds inside to Edwards, and Edwards is going to be fouled by Betchner. And they're kind of talking to each other. <laughs> Pushing them away. I don't know. I look, at, I look at the size of Edwards. I don't think I want to say too much. I think he just, here he comes inside, Ron. Here's another shot of it. When he gets the ball, they're fronting him. If he gets in behind it, they've got a guy behind him. He has to work a little harder to get open. Reynolds with it off to Kilton. Kilton's outside three is no good. Rebound strong by Beshner at the end of the first half. It's 25 to 24 in favor of Machias. And in that first half, we did not go into the one-on-one. -on -one. Pretty amazing. Both teams committed five team fouls. A real clean game. I uh, saw a lot of good things happening on both sides. Not really too much to choose from. No, when Southern did extend their defense, they got burned a couple times by the big fella inside, and they were content the last two and a half minutes to stay in that zone and front him. But he's got to go from block to post to block and discipline himself to keep running that. And when he does, Kilton swings it to the wing and drops the post down. That's pretty tough play. At the other end, Southern's done a real nice job of crashing the board, which puts pressure on Edwards and Reynolds inside. So you really don't have much uh, difference here, Joe, after the first 16 minutes with Chai up one. The first game of our afternoon session in Class D girls, Shed, upset Fort Fairfield 73 to 51. And here we're at 25-24, one point difference. No, I think you have to like all the players uh, from both sides. Now, Machias did not substitute in that first uh, half. Only one substitute for Southern Rustic, and that was uh, Josh Holman. And Josh came in, almost got burned a couple of times uh, by uh, having the ball stole away by Reynolds. But a good team, a real good team. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in just a moment. And further looking at that shed score, the girls, they were 35 for 44 from the foul line, 79%. Hello. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> Let, let's go down to Ernie Clark now. Of course, players get nervous during tournament time, but nervousness is not necessarily confined to the players. I'm here with three moms from the Machias team today, and I'm going to let you guys introduce yourself before we talk to each other. I'm Ellen Reynolds. I'm Vicki Kilton. Beverly Edwards. Okay, Beverly, first off, we want to go back to the quarterfinals, 59-57 uh, victory over Shedd, and it was your son, Ben, who scored the game-winning basket. I'm just kind of wondering about the emotions that went through your mind at the end of the game. Very nervous. At the hot seat at the end of a game, you're always uneasy, and it could be anyone, and it was Ben at that time, and it went great, so we were very excited for him. Of course, you're uh, Seth Kilton's mom. I'm just wondering what it's like at home on game day. Uh, very stressful, or it is for me anyway. <laughs> Any sort of things that you go through on game day that you wouldn't go through otherwise? Oh, I think you're just nervous and basically make sure he doesn't get hurt because he's been hurt twice this season. So that's a real big thing. And Beverly, how would you describe yourself as a fan? Calm, cool, and collected or something else? Really nervous, really nervous. But anything they do is great, right? They're only kids, they'll be all right. 
Um, what does it mean to small towns like Machias to be able to come up here to the auditorium and, and just kind of take all this in for a week? Oh, it's really good. And I had a son that was on the 95 state team, so this really, we'd like to have it for Seth, too. Absolutely. And, uh, and finally, just about today's game, it's again another close one, 25-24 Machias over Southern Aroostook at the half. Is it pretty easy to sit there and watch? Not at all. I have my bottle of water nearby, and we're all very nervous. <laughs> well, listen, do what you can to enjoy yourself. Another half of action. You know, I'm sure it's going to be difficult, but I'm sure you'll do the best you can. Listen, thanks a lot, and good luck to Machias in the second half. Back to you, Joe. Thank you very much, Ernie. Nervousness? <laughs> you got a son playing, I'd say you'd have to be nervous, right? Or a daughter? But that's amazing uh, what Shed did on the foul line. Not even uh, A teams can do that. We'll be back right after this. Here are the halftime stats, Joe. For Southern Aroostook, field goals 10 for 20, an impressive 50%. On the other side of the ledger, Machias also shooting 50%. 12 for 24. Free throws, 4 for 6 Southern. Chias did not have a free throw attempt. 67% for Southern Aroostook. Turnovers even to 10 for Southern Aroostook and 10 for the Machias Memorial High School Bulldogs. And that's why we have an even game. The individual scoring for Southern Aroostook, Jordan Shields had 7. Sam Mishu with 6. Good balance. Robert Beschner with 5. Nathan Hardy, four. Joshua Holman, two. For a halftime total of 24. For the Machias Bulldogs, Owen Strand, three. Joe Snowdeal, two. Ben Reynolds, four. Ben Edwards, six. And Seth Kilton had a good start, 10 points. At the half, the home team, higher seed, Machias High School ahead 25 to 24 in a real good first half of action. As Machias has come back on the floor now, we're about three minutes away from game as Southern Rooster comes back. Interesting as we uh, continue on about this Shed team, most three throws uh, scored in one game. It was held in Class D by Shed in 1998 with 33. Now <laughs> they break it by two and get 35. So that's quite a, that's quite a feat right there. 35 Very out of 44. Gracious. What do we look for in the second half, Mr. Brown? Well, more of the same. I think uh, I think when you get in a situation, if you're a coach and the game is nearly tied, then you have to be satisfied with what you've done. If you're Machias, you want to continue to get the ball inside because that's where you've had the greatest success. If you're Southern Aroostook, you want to stay in that zone and continue to crash the boards. And with that, we'll be back with second half action right after this. Real good ball game, very clean. It was interesting to note that Machias never got to the foul line once. And the other fouls that were committed, uh, they committed against uh, the Southern Rooster team was the two shot variety that put them on the line, so they were four for six. So things may change as we get ready to start the second half as Machias will shoot to the basket to our right, closest to Buck Street. And the same starting fives to both sides remain in the game. Reynolds with it. Now in the middle is Snow Deal. And Kilton wants him over on the right side as he stats out. So Southern Rustic will stay in this, their zone. 2 3. Nice pass inside of Snow Deal. Puts it up. No good. Just kind of rolled off and out. And they're going to call a foul on Snow Deal. Probably a frustration foul. He missed that shot. Yeah, he uh, got behind that defense very easily. 24 the score. Machias leading in this game as the Southern Rustic team stands down with the ball. This is Gabe Gordon. Gordon on the dribble. Hook pass goes in the middle to Mishu. Mishu is going to turn, pass it off to Beshner. Beshner's shot is up, gets the bounce, and rolls through. 26-25, Southern Rustic grabs the lead. Snow deal to Kilton. Now it goes off to uh, Reynolds. Kilton outside to Reynolds. 
Pass goes to Strawn. Strawn starts down with it to the right side. Snow deal. Strawn's going to take an outside three, and he's going to nail this one. Nice Giants didn't shot. do that well with that in the first half, and they've got to get more of that to open up. 28-26 now. Machias with a two-point lead. Mishu with it. Hardy at the top. Now it goes to Shields. They start to move the ball as Hardy starts to right down. Takes a pop. Good. Good looking shot there. And we're locked at 28 with 6.33 in the third quarter. This is the semifinals in D. And the finals will be Saturday. Nice turnaround, and they're going to call a foul on Shields. <laughs> you see Misher come over to the official. Yeah, Edwards, had the, the elbow. <laughs> Edwards had the presence of mind to keep his pivot foot on the floor. And Edwards at the line to shoot two shots. When the contact came and he was able to get the shot up, he had to turn almost a complete revolution. It's the first time the Machias has been on the foul line in this game. Edwards foul shot us up. It's no good. So Ben Edwards, a senior. The senior ball club for this Machias team. All five are seniors in status. Second shot is up, and that's no good. Just a pair. That comes off the rebound. Hardy brings the ball down. Hardy still on the dribble. Starts to the right side. He's going to go and take it himself. Another soft jump shot. He makes it again. 30-28. Very confident with that move. Snow deal. Kilton. Reynolds to Kilton. Strong again with an outside shot. He rolls another three. That's what he can do. Nice behind the back goes to Mishu. Mishu starts to go. He's going to turn. He sends up a jump shot. It's all air. Reynolds in the rebound. But then taken off by Shields. Shields off to Hardy now. Outside. Knocked away, but uh, retrieved by Hardy of Southern Rustic. Shots to the left side. In the pass. Goes inside to Shields. He puts it up around and in. Right under the basket. He had to lean a little bit to put it up off the glass. 32-31. Southern Rustic now. Strong with it. Back to Snow Deal. Snow Deal back to Strong. As Kilton has it, corner goes to Reynolds. Kilton's going to send an upside shot. All glass. Picked off by Mishu of Southern Rooster. Five minutes left here in third quarter action. Pass goes inside. Tipped back by Edwards, but it's picked off. And now Mishu has a nice scoop pass inside to Bechner. And Bechner draws the foul. Mishu created that play. He had a little opening, but was very unselfish. Shuffled the ball inside. Here's a good look at it. Nice shuffle pass. Caught Machias flat-footed. There's the foul. The foul was on Snow Deal. That's his second, team second. And Bechner missed the foul shot. Robert Bechner is a junior. Foul shot good. 31-33 now as Southern Rustic leads this game. Kilton outside, Reynolds. Strawn, Strawn's going to set up another one. This time it's no good. Snow deal on the rebound. Going to turn, go to the corner. Goes out in the middle, goes to Kilton. Kilton, nice pass inside, but Shields is there. And Shields takes it away. Kind of a blind dish, and uh, Shields picked it off. Mishu. Now inside goes to Shield. Shield turns in traffic, and he's being fouled. Very unselfish, the Southern Aroostook team. So Edwards picks up his second, third team foul. Southern Aroostook has only committed one, and uh, Shields will shoot a pair. The foul shot is up and good. Jordan Shields, a sophomore. Good Southern Rooster crowd came down today. Second shot is up. It's good. Four point lead now, 35 to 31. Kenny Johnson hasn't changed the expression of his face since the game started. Now it goes inside to Edwards, and Edwards has about five people on him. And this time Hardy is reaching in. And they'll get the ball out of bounds under their own basket. They're just going to continue to make it tough for him. Kenny says, just keep your cool. We're going to work hard. 
Shields picks up the foul. That's his second. Killed him. Now outside goes to Reynolds, and Reynolds lays one in. Bang. Been waiting for him to do that. That's his shot. 35-34 now. Hardy. Out to Gordon. Mishu. Mishu is going to go, and Mishu is being fouled. He has such a quick first step. If he gets by you, you got to scream help quick. No, we're just going to say that he is quick. And he's got the presence of mind that when he does get in, uh, to look at some people. So the first sub of the game for Machias will momentarily be coming in. There's Sam again. Nice pass inside to Shields, and he does it again. Sam Mishu is putting on a show now. He gets through, and he looks for open people, and he found Shields that time. 37-34 lead. Kilton with it now. Kilton goes to Snow Deal on the right side. Snow Deal starts to go. He turns. Now loops it back out to Edwards. Edwards goes to Reynolds. Reynolds with a three. No good. Rebound by Mishu. And Southern Rooster controls again. So they're giving him one shot. Good to Hattie. Hattie's going to stop with that soft pop. It's no good. Shields there for the rebound. Shields turns in traffic. Puts it in. They're going to call a foul on Edwards. going to take it right at him now. You get a little lead, you can do more creative things offensively. That's the third on him. Here's another look at it. Principle of verticality. When Everett brought his arms down and the contact was made, that's always his foul. Eric, Eric Buck checks in the game now for Machias. 40-34. Suddenly Rustic has the lead. Reynolds with it. Outside of Snow Deal. Snow Deal is strong. Strong in the corner goes to Snow Deal. And sometimes that entry pass into the big man, that's a good pass in there. He's going to turn and put it up off the glass, no good. Sometimes that pass gets him in trouble where they'll back in and uh, get a player control. So that's a tough pass. Mishu back and he has. Sam Mishu is on fire. 42 to 34. And Southern Aroostic wants. Uh, I should say Machias wants a timeout. Now the pressure comes to uh, the Machias bench to make the adjustment. If you're Southern Aroostook, you don't need to make the adjustment. Let's have a look at Sam. He sees the whole well, as the great players do. Reads where his man is. He knows he's got distance. He explodes and hits the jump. All coin. Machias bench. So Kilton is on the sidelines, and Buck came in for him. The Southern Rooster crowd behind us are getting loud. Eric Buck is a senior, six foot, rugged build individual. Snow Deal will bring the ball down. Stats down the middle, stats and stops, turns around. Now strong, back to Snow Deal on the baseline. He's going to take the shot up, and Mishu is called for fouling. Sam thought he had all ball, but Mike Webb picked up the foul, so going the line would be Snow Deal, Joel and Snow Deal. Here it is on the baseline again. Once you beat the player, you really have to have all ball or you're going to get the foul, because you may be getting some ball, but you're going to get a piece of the head. You're going to get the body. It's going to be your foul. Snow deal foul shot is good. 42 to 35. 234 left in this uh, third quarter of action. 36 to 42. Down by six. Gordon with it. Stats down to Mishu. Mishu tries to get the baseline, and Buck won't give it to him. In the middle of Beshner. Beshner turns, goes to Hardy. How he starts to move. Nice defensive play. Oh, I thought it was a nice defensive play by Reynolds. And they're going to call him for fouling. Same situation at the other end. It's the toughest shot in basketball to block without contact. A block from behind. Here's another look at it. You get ball, but you get head most of the time. It's two shots. Foul shot is up and good. So as Ron had mentioned, this Southern Aroostook team plays within themselves. They play with all five. Foul shot is up, it's no good. Edwards with a rebound, Edwards turns. Sam went down. 
Get whacked, but uh, no foul call. Reynolds of Machias skips it all the way across to Strong. Strong starts to go. Nice shuffle pass to Buck. He puts it up a little bit too hard and misses the layup. Buck just get in the game, so a little bit of jitters here. But uh, nice pass from Strong that time, but just a little bit too hard off the glass. Shields now to Mishu. Mishu hooks the pass, gets it back. He's going to send it back up, and they're going to call a foul inside. This time, either on Snow Deal or Edwards. Snow Deal is a guilty patty. So it seems like every time in, they're getting fouled. Yeah, they have Southern Roosters playing with a lot more confidence now, and a lead will do that for you. That's the seventh team foul. This is a two shot foul, though. Sam Mishu hits it, the senior. As they extend the lead now, 44 to 36 with 147 left. Sam's second shot is up and good. 36 to 45. This no deal comes down with it to Buck. Now it goes to Reynolds. Reynolds' foul line extended to the left. Way outside is Strong. Strong starts fat way down to Snow Deal. Snow Deal stops, looks. Strong, Strong fakes. Now Snow Deal takes the three. It's all air, picked off by Shields. His time counts down to 123 in the third quarter. Gordon, now to Hardy. Hardy turns, looks now, goes to Bessner. Bessner way outside, back to Hardy. Now he starts to turn, starts to go to the glass, puts it right up, and they're going to call a player control. He's had two of those in this game. That's, That's a hard, hard thing, Joe, to get kids to discipline and not leave their feet. Here's a good shot of it. Snowdale hustling, and he is clearly there. That's a good call by Dave Renault, the official. Third personal foul picked up by Hattie. There's Buck in the middle to Edwards. Edwards turns to Strong. Strong's out deep. Now starts to dribble to the right side, goes to Snow Deal. Snow Deal to Buck, now to Reynolds. As they work the ball back outside. Strong with it now, loops the pass inside to Edwards. Edwards is going to turn off the glass and in. He uses the glass well. 38 to 45, seven point difference, 39 seconds left. Nice pass inside, Gordon to Shields, and Buck just took him apart. There's no way was he going to get that shot off. The buck stops here, he said. <laughs> if you're going to lay up, you're going to earn it. You have to be impressed with Southern's quickness to the basket. There are three kids that really, really attack the basket well. Miss you and Shields especially. Shields makes the foul shot. Good crowd on both sides cheering for their charges. There's a pair, so they're pretty good. Sam Nato just uh, missed you with a suck, sunk two, and South Shields hits two. 29 seconds left, 47 38 to score. This time stands to tick down. In the middle to Buck, Buck at the foul line, now to Snow Deal. Snow Deal looks inside, he starts to go. He's going to stop, take the pop, high acker, no good. Buck with the rebound. Buck puts it back up, and no good, but draws a foul. You see his important to the Machias team. He's working hard at both ends. Southern Rustic foul number 22, Sam Mishu. That's his third, team's fifth. Sam Mishu has three, and the team has five. Two shots. So they still haven't put uh, Machias in the one-on-one -on -one yet, but this is a two-shot foul. Tim Toothick will get him out of here for the last 15 seconds so he doesn't run over a screen and pick up his fourth. So he will leave. Lucas Nato will come in. Sam Mishu, the all-purpose player, as Buck will go back to the line, Eric will try to cash in the second one. Up and it's no good off the front. Picked off inside by Nato. As we count down, Bechner will bring the ball up. Seven seconds left. Now it goes to Hardy. Hardy's going to send an outside three. No good. And at the end of three complete, 47 for Southern Roosters, 39 for Machias. We'll be back with fourth quarter action right after this. You're watching tournament basketball on the stations of Maine PBS. 
Southern Roostick led by three at the end of one. They trailed by one at halftime. Now they lead going to the fourth period, 47 to 39. So hold on to your hats as Kilton is checked back in for Machias. Mishu is back in for Southern Roostick. Bishner with the ball as uh, Machias now showing man. Nice move inside by Bishner. And in the rebound action, Bishner is fouling. Machias extending their defense to half court here now, trying to create some turnovers and get some cheap baskets. And they get the foul out of that exchange. So we're in the early portion of the fourth period. Class D semifinals. Kilton. Now Reynolds. Reynolds outside three and he nails it. 42 to 47, down by five. As Machias card across the way, starts to pick up. Hardy with it now. Back to Gordon. Gordon inside to Mishur, uh, to Shields. Well, they're trying to go to Bishner, but the ball is taken away. Coming down with a snow deal from Machias out to Kilton. Kilton at the top. Snow deal looking now. Skips it across to Strong. Now in the corner to Kilton. Cross court now. It goes to Reynolds. Reynolds has to go back to Kilton. Kilton's going to go. The glass puts it up. Doesn't get it. But more importantly, if that foul is on Sam Mishu, I believe that's going to be his fourth. And it is. That's a big play. It certainly is. There may be some method to Mr. Johnson's madness is get somebody over there and try to get another foul on him. And that's his fourth. So Kilton's foul shot is up. It's no good. It's one of the toughest decisions in basketball if you're coaching how long to have him out or to have him out at all with seven minutes and four seconds left. Some coaches don't take him out because they don't feel he doesn't, does you any good sitting on the bench. Some coaches will bring him in with that the four minute mark, four and a half minute mark. So Kilton misses his uh, both. The rebound was by Nato and uh, Southern Rustic down at their basket now. Pass goes to Bishner. Bishner turns, gives the hardy. Man to man, Hardy's going to stop, float up another one, no good. Rebound strong by Shields, puts it up a little bit too hard. Comes to Fishner, Fishner's top, and he's going to be fouled by Kilton. A little frustrated. Now the fouls are starting to mount up. That's his fourth. And I think, you know, and you made a good point, too, with the four personal fouls. Nobody in the pack knows better than the guys get the four personal fouls. And Kilton is highly visibly upset on this but he goes over and sets down as Buck comes in and it's a good substitute Buck coming in he's strong there's a rebound taken off by Edwards on the foul miss so we're in the one on one on both sides snow deal with the ball there's Edwards in the middle nice soft cut he puts it up and in he's good around the basket inside in the lane he makes it 47 to 44 with 619 remaining here in this contest the winner of this game will go against the winner of Jonesport Beals and uh, Central Roostick will play this evening. Ron and I will be back with that one. Beshner outside, got it by Edwards. Beshner has a screen, can't get by now. Looking inside, goes to Nato, it comes back outside to Gordon. Now to Hardy. Hardy's going to go, he's going to go right in. This, this ought to be, let's see what they call. Is that player control or is it on snow deal? Well, it's on Snow Deal. A blocking foul. Boy, oh boy, he's got four. Here's a shot of it. Snow Deal's going to hip check him. He's not going to have position. He's going to hip check him. Timeout passed by Johnson. Machias is a 20 second timeout. 47 44 with 5.53 left. The thing that I liked about the call was Mike Webb, who made the call check with the sideline official for angle make sure they both agreed this is the third year of three man officiating in the eastern main tournament and the western main tournament we don't get as much three man probably as we should during the regular season but these guys have to make the adjustment too but it's always gives you a comfortable feeling Joe as a coach when you see the officials look at each other when they bowl the whistle. Southern Roostick's junior Nathan Hattie on the foul line for two. The tenth team foul committed on that last foul, so that's an automatic two the rest of the way in. So that's going to be important with 553 left for Southern Roostick. And Nathan hits two, making it 44 to 49, a five-point lead. 
Buck with the ball. Now it goes to Reynolds. Inside pass. And Nato picks up the foul. And that's you know, only his first. He just got in the game. You know, and Buck is just such a great role player. I mean, he knows what his role is. His role is to get the ball to the wing and to drop the post. That's going to free up Reynolds from the perimeter. He's hit two now, and that's going to be the key to Machias getting back in this game. I wonder how the three moms are doing right about now for Machias. Well, I remember Mrs. Kilton. When I was there, she had a cheerleader and a player, so she had a double whammy. They're wonderful people down there. They follow their team religiously. Mrs. Edwards has probably already had her water, bottle of water, as Ben gets ready for his second shot. That's up, and it's no good. Rebound strong by Beschner. 49 to 44. Good timing on that rebound as it kind of dribbled around at the rim. Hardy, Beschner outside. Back to Hardy. Hardy wants to drive now. So Beschner, who's the center, is outside with Edwards on him. Nice pass inside to Shields off the glass and in. Well, you got to be impressed with how unselfish they are. 51 to 45 now. Buck with it. To Reynolds. Reynolds looking inside. Skips it across the strong. He's going to put up a three. A little bit shot. No good. Rebound by Nato, who came in the ball game. No slack. He takes off the rebound. For as deep as they go, everybody plays and plays as a team. Pass to Nato and ten of a Gordon. Picked up by Snow Deal of Machias. Machias trailing by six points with 4.56 left. I think Nato is going to, uh, Michu is going to come back in the game. He is. Reynolds with an outside three. It's no good. Beshner with another strong rebound. Boy, he owns that right side, doesn't he? Gordon with it now. Starts off, gives off to Beshner. Beshner back to Gordon. Gordon looking inside. Now he starts to drive. Try to get the baseline. He can't get it. Bounces back outside to Beshner. Beshner holds. Now takes the dribble to the right side. Now gives off to Shields. 4.24 left in this contest. Goes to Beshner. Beshner is in the corner now. Now he starts to go to the foul line. Stops. He's being hemmed in. The ball's knocked away. Picked up by Buck. Give uh, Edwards an assist on that. He's blocked the pass. So they come down the other way. Snow deal to Buck. Now it goes to Reynolds. Reynolds looking inside for Edwards. Skips it across the strong. Now he comes back out with it. Goes to Snow deal. Back to Reynolds. Now inside to Buck. There he is off the glass. And he puts it in. He's fouled. He kind of lost control of the ball when he put it up, but it still went in. You know, and I'll tell you what, before he shot that ball, he looked for a cutter. What an unselfish kid. So Nato, uh, Lucas Nato, picked up the foul, and Michio comes back in for him. That's the second. So the conventional three. By Mr. Buck, if he can sink it in, 47 to 51. We're going to have a good one. OT, Ronnie. All shot is up and no good. Rebound picked off by Sam Mishu, who just came in the game. Good shot of uh, Mr. Johnson, the coach. Hasn't changed expressions in 20 years. Hardy, Hardy starts to gallop, puts it up off the glass and in. What a move that time by Nathan Hardy. 47 to 53. As Kilton will check back in for this. Machias team, Reynolds with it now. Inside goes to Edwards. Edwards with a traffic jam, puts it up and in. That's a serious move right there. That's a big time move. 53 to 49. Boy, he had four people around him and he was still able to rattle it through. Hardy starts to go again. Hardy stops, turns, the ball's deflected. Nice pass goes to Gordon from Hardy. Hardy's gonna go to the glass and puts it in. You got Kilton with four fouls. Well, he's not in the game yet, but you got Edwards that doesn't want to pick up anymore. So it's a situation where they're just driving the basket and making him earn it. Faust goes inside. Edwards can't control it. Picked up by Michu. Michu's going to take the fast break himself. He's going to stop. Puts it up and in. Nice needs a timeout. Oh, what a nice shot that was. 57 to 49 with 2.45 left. They got ice in their veins right now. Buck. Now it goes to Reynolds. Reynolds with the three. Yes! He brings it back. 57 to 52. Five point lead. Kilton still on the sidelines, waiting to get in this game. Hardy. Hardy turns. Now to Beshner, who's outside. Hardy starts to drive again. He stops. Off to Sam Mishu. Mishu shot is no good. Shields on the rebound to Beshner. Back to Hardy. 2.14 left. 
Goes to Bishner inside. Sam. Sam turns, puts it up. No good. Rebound by Shields. He puts it up. No basket. No basket. And Matty Bushad called it. Boy, I'm telling you, they, they, they're rebounding. They're doing very, very well. 57 to 52 to score. Kilton still is not going to end the game as it appears that uh, the fifth foul has been called, and it's been called on Snowdeal, and he just fouled out of the game. Here's a shot of it again. The foul occurs before he gets the shot off. We're in the bonus, and he'll shoot two. So when a man fouls out, the coach has 30 seconds to get another play in. Whoop. <laughs> He grabs uh, Mike Whitney and says, you go to the school board, scorer's table first, and then you come in. So Kilton's still waiting to come in the game, but there's a two-shot foul, so he's going to have to wait until the first shot is taken. Fields foul shot is no good. Now he can come in. And Buck is going to come out. 2.06 remains in this contest. Foul shot is up, it's no good. He misses the pair. Kelton with this team in the game gets it. Off to Whitney. Two minutes, two minutes for the Off to Strawn now. Strawn back to Whitney. Strawn, Kelton. Kelton outside, Strawn. Strawn's gonna take the three, yes! Boy, is he happy about that one. We got a ball game. 57 to 55. Gordon with it. Gordon on the dribble. Gordon's gonna go. It's deflected away by Edwards. What a great defensive play. 141 remains here in this contest as both sides. Kenny Johnson wants a timeout. He can't get it. Goes to Hattie. Hattie's going to turn now. Hattie is strong on him. Now goes to Gordon. Back to Hattie. Southern Roostick with a two point lead 57 to 55. Ball almost stolen, but Shields comes up with it. Now it goes off to Gordon to Hattie. Corner to Bester. Bester tries to get the, and they're going to call a foul on Edwards. They've been trying to get the fourth foul on him uh, all night. But there's a the situation there. You're not going to take him out. No, and he tried to cut off baseline. He just couldn't get there. He doesn't cut him off. That's two points anyway, and he knew he had one to waste. Here's a good shot of it. Ben's just a little bit too close. Tries to shuffle his feet and get back. Player falls down, your contact. And the bonus, 10 fouls, two shots. Besh has been playing this whole game uh, with his fingers heavily bandaged, taped. Looks like his index is his middle finger, but uh, he's he's been real good. I think I, what I like about the philosophy is Edwards, they brought Edwards out. So this gives Mishu and gives Hattie a chance to drive. But you know, like you said, in, in, in a both ends, once the Southern Roosters has to go down the middle, they're looking. If there's nobody going to pick them up, it's a deuce. If someone picks it up, they're going to dish off. And yeah, they've played real well against man-to-man, -man, a defense that they don't see a lot of in Class B. So Bishner with the heavily taped fingers puts it up and no good. Bob Leahy used to say the foul shots are always important in all the game, but they always show up in the fourth period. He misses two. And Matthias gets the rebound, goes to Kilton with 114 remaining in this contest. Outside Kilton, now Strong, Strong shot to go to Whitney. Whitney, and almost thrown away, comes back to Strong, he saves it. Now to Kilton. They trail by two. Kilton at the foul line with a shot, it's no good. Rebound by Hardy, and Kilton has just fouled out of his game. And Buck will replace him. He thought he had Edwards. Played a good game with both ends. He thought he had Edwards and he got airborne. Took the shot, but he didn't quite pull the trigger on it. It was short, and then he committed the foul. Nathan Hattie at the other end will go for a pair. And Buck checked in. Snow deal and Kilton have both fouled out of this game. 58 to 55. Plenty of time. Foul shot's important. How do you think so? A big pair, 59 to 55, four-point lead. Now to go to Reynolds. Reynolds starts to go to the glass. He puts up a jumper. It's no good. Rebound by Michoud, and he's being fouled in there by Whitney, Mike Whitney. So the winner of this game 
will advance to the finals, which will be Saturday morning here on Maine PBS. A good game, a real fine game. Anything can happen. Michoud goes to the line. Foul shot is up and it's good. Think he's happy? <laughs> Big free throw. Five point lead now with 49.7 seconds left. Second shot by Sam is good. Boy, he's, uh, he's my game player. He's unbelievable, he's had a great game. 61 to 55. Buck with it now. Higgins, now Buck, Buck right in the middle, puts it up and in. 57 to 61, four point difference now. Hattie with it. Hattie stats down now, still in the dribble. Now goes back to Shields, the best near outside to Gordon. And Gordon gets the ball off to Hattie, and Hattie is being fouled by Reynolds. So again, Nathan Hattie goes to foul line. Sometimes the uh, 22nd timeout being asked by Johnson. Sometimes in that situation, you don't want to foul a guy like uh, Hattie because he's so good on the foul line. Now the problem you're in now is unless you can make the clean steal, you got to stop the clock. Only 28.7 seconds left. Coach Johnson is setting up his press off the score. Reynolds is going to try to get a three here. If he can't get it, he's going to go up and take a look for the big fellow inside, and they're going to have to press. But these free throws can make it a two possession ball game. And, uh, two really fine coaches. I, I really like the demeanor of Johnson. He doesn't get excited, he doesn't scream at him. I just took that time out, explained to everybody what he wanted. With 28.7 seconds, the foul shot is up and good. And that's where it's tough with a guy like Hardy on the foul line. Real, real tough uh, foul shooter. And he hits a pair, 63 to 57. Big uphill now for this team. Machias. Pass goes to Whitney. Whitney's outside shot is no good. Rebound action. They're going to call a foul on Edwards. And Edwards just fouled out of this game as well. Intentional foul, I believe, the official foul. So that's the fifth, and uh, Coach Johnson will get ready to put another player in the game. There it is again. Ben just a little over anxious. Kevin Laughlin checks in as the intentional foul will put no, no one else but Hardy on the foul line. He's made, what, five in a row now? Get ready for his six, he puts it up. He misses this one, but they get the ball out of bounds anyway with a 64 to 57 lead. Southern Roostick has played very, very well in this game. A good, real fine team. Tim Toothaker has done an excellent job of Southern Roostick. Now to miss you. And Shields goes to the basket, no good. Looked like an empty goal. And uh, the foul is on Machias. And two shots. Strawn is guilty of the foul, and that's only his first. You know, Machias had a game plan. They couldn't get the ball inside as much as they wanted to, Joe. And the perimeter shots that they needed to get, they got them a little bit too late. Foul shot is made by Sam Mishu as he gets ready for a second shot. It's up and it's no good. It's academic now. Strong comes off with it. Starts all the way down, gonna go and turn now, looking. Goes out to Reynolds. Reynolds is gonna fire up a three. It's good. 60 to 65. And another foul. So they're doing what Coach Johnson asked. So these two teams uh, played a very fine semifinal round. Probably the people at home uh, may be wondering the difference between an intentional foul and a regular foul, a common foul, if you will. And you, as long as you go for the ball and make contact, the official will always call a common foul and you'll shoot one and one, or in this case, on the 10th foul, two shots. So if there's any pushing or holding to stop the clock, that's intentional. Especially in this situation, everybody in the house knows why you're doing it, and it's tough to get away with it. Second one is missed. 
Coming down with it now, Reynolds with a long outside shot. And that's the end of the game. The Southern Rustic, number three, has beaten number two, Machaya, 66 to 60. In a real good, fine basketball game. Uh, it was an excellent game.